Hey, these are my big trash day finds. Lots of great stuff on the curb like always. I immediately grabbed that desk because of its legs and then we stumbled upon this pile of junk and this dresser was just sitting there and this TV console and then this piece of art. But here's everything else we saw on the curb. We saw this little beep beep Jeep and this bookshelf that I took and not that because that was fake wood laminate, didn't want it. But I'm like, what is up with these desks? But not only this, but look, I found a woven wicker like banana leaf outdoor rug and it was so cool it was like definitely made in mexico and i'm like oh, girl uh this is mine we're not reselling that we're, we're keeping that yes i grabbed that chair and i was laughing at this free working hot tub girl that does not look like that's working it's torn apart it's trash okay take it to the trash what do you know we found another dewalt tool bag find on the curb but we did not take it because it was empty a blue jean ottoman um i'm not sure how to feel about that did not take it but i did grab this floor lamp with this really cool shade and then this pile of trash had some brand new nikes in it but i'm like maybe there's a reason why those are on the curb and maybe there's a reason i shouldn't take those so i did not but we found a really cool side end table that i plan on keeping and redoing for myself last but not least the last find of the day was this floor lamp just chilling on the curb hey hey girl you're coming home with me yeah those are my trash finds happy big trash day i nearly fainted by all the big trash day finds i saw today you gotta see what i found and what i took let me grab these i saw a lot of things on the curb today that should not really be there like this piano Yes, a piano. This stuff right here had lots of goodies. I went and dug through it. I found a little Texas sign, a cowboy hat made out of metal, and then this driftwood wind chime decor thing. I mean, obsessed. I loved the dresser, but look at all these scratches. I mean, who the heck scratched this up? It could not be a cat. It had to be something crazy. I don't know what it could, what could have done that. And I am just tripping out by what's all on the curb, honestly. I really am. I grabbed that hat rack. I want to paint it, make it fun, make it maybe girly for some cowboy hats. And then we saw these life-size snowman Christmas yard art. And my husband acted like me whenever he saw them. He was like, yippee, trash. We found a really nice dog bed on the curb that was just in great condition and had to grab. Whoever threw all this away was obviously done gardening for life. Now, this find was just tragic. I mean, it's so cute, an aqua farmhouse bench. The last find of the day was this French dresser and it only had one handle left, so we decided to take it, but not the dresser because it kind of stunk and had some bugs. <music> This was by far the craziest big trash day I've ever seen in my life. First thing we saw was this couch, bunch of fish tanks, people taking trash and taking it home. Yes, please. I love seeing that. But really what was so crazy is I thought this looked like a bunch of junk, but no, just hundreds of posters, vintage prints, um, Olympic posters from 1984, and just a lot of other wild art prints in here. And I'm going to get them listed on my website, so you guys will just have to wait for that. But I will let you know when I do. So anyways, had to proceed and find other stuff on the curb. Husband found that T-post for his man cave. I found some more art. And then this rug we took because we're going to have a rug cleaning day that we will clean, dry, go to the car wash. We'll resell it from there. We grabbed this like rubber mat. It was so long and I figured it was for landscaping. I thought there is a way we could reuse this. So we grabbed it. It was so heavy. But then we went to <laughs> house down the road, had all this junk on the curb. And this mansion had mansion trash, I would call it. A very nice large rug, curtain rod, hallway table, lampshades, a lamp, Y'all are probably wondering, don't you get embarrassed digging through people's trash when they could probably see out your window? No, not at all. Our last trash find of the day was this 1980s, very, very vintage Italian leather couch. I can't even believe it. It's in great condition. The first thing I did was take it back, clean it, take pictures, and list it for sale. Y'all, was this not the craziest big trash day ever? Here's what we found on big trash day. There was a lot of junk out. For all my junk lovers, this video is for you. We did find some goodies within the mix of everyone's trash. I am obsessed with that mirror. So these chairs, they were a little dirty for my liking, so we passed on them. But there's some other things that I was like, ooh, okay, we'll take that. That corner shelf, it had some hand-painted flowers on it, which I loved. 
that chair was really cool. I know it probably would have been really easy to fix up, but I decided to pass on it for the project. I just don't have time for it right now. That is me trying to glamorize digging through people's trash, you know, just trying to feel fabulous while doing so. I always grab an empty frame. I just, I love them. And I always put them on walls or resell them that way. And we found a wine rack and a really cool tent. So this little area had so much rattan goodies. You just had to dig through it and you could find plenty of rattan baskets in great shape. I found a really cool shelf that I might turn into a hallway table. So much children's books. I am starting to regret not grabbing that rocking chair because look at the hand carved details on it. But we did end up finding this bamboo headboard and it was in great shape. I'm thinking about painting it a fun color. So yeah, this is us trash picking on Memorial Day weekend while most of y'all are having fun. This is what we're choosing to do for fun. But regardless, if y'all want to see what I end up doing with this trash, make sure you follow along. <laughs> 